Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison out of Stampabump.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm a little bit later tonight than normal, but I had a guest from out of town, one of my team members, she lives in Indiana. She is in town visiting and she's also going to be a presenter, um, a presenter, a display stamper, yeah. and attending the event this weekend that I'm going to in Oshkosh. So, she had to come here and do her Facebook Live because, of course, I'm all set up for that, and it made it really simple. Oh, my God, I don't have my crown on. <gasps> Absolute, complete violation. <laughs> Did anybody catch that? Oh, my goodness. There we go. Whew, I feel so much better now. I know I'm going to stamp better. I have a really pretty card for you tonight that has kind of a rainbow effect. So I, I know you're going to love it. Let me bring you up on my um, oh, iPad here. It's beeping and bonking and doing all the things. And I'm going to make it so I'm not talking. Is this it? Nope. Nope. See, it doesn't refresh. I don't. Oh, here it is. I did that. I was asking, I was asking Jody, how do I refresh my iPad so I don't have to keep messing with it? I have to go like this and it bonks the page down and comes back up and then it's refreshed. So yay, yay us. We figured out some more technology tonight, <laughs> right? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do tonight is we are going to have, we will have a winner. I did a drawing and what I have to give away tonight is something that was donated to us by Terry Mullinex. She is so very generous, and I think she said she had a double. Um, when she cleaned out her stamp room, she found that she had a double of these dies, and look what they are. They are the Be Mine Stitched Framelits, and I thought this was the perfect time to offer these up as a door prize. Look at all of them. Whoops. We don't want to, we don't want to lose any, but you get two sheets of them. It's a huge Valentine die set, right? And um, again, thank you, Terry, for donating this because I just know that Chris Wood is our big winner and she is going to love these. So Chris, watch for some happy mail coming your way. I will be dropping those in the mail tomorrow for you. Now, we're going to get right to our card tonight and then I have some mail to share with you. So if it's not too late and you can stick around you, or if you're kind of a night owl and you need a little bit more entertainment, I have some beautiful cards to share with you that were sent to me over the holidays and some presents. So, uh, ooh, let me put this, where did that die set go? Right here. Chris, I'm going to put this back in the envelope because Terry made sure she had the envelope for it. We're going to put that right back in that. Hang on, it's covering up your name. This was definitely, looked a lot easier than it's turning out to be. There we go. We're going to be ready for that. You know what? I'm going to set that right back here so I don't lose it. Hi, D. Hi, Bonnie, Francie. Yay! I'm so happy to see you guys coming in here tonight. Okay, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm going to flip this camera around. We're going to start stamping right away. Oh, I need to get my phone plugged in too. So hang tight. Close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open. And we are ready. Here we go. I'm going to plug my phone in so I don't have any problems. I did remember to put it on Do Not Disturb, so if somebody calls me, they're not going to get me. There we go. That looks great. All right. Here we go. Now, as always, if you're going to place an order with me and your order is under $150, please use this host code. That gives me some benefits and allows me to get door prizes for you guys to give away, and I love to give away stuff. Make sure you click on that like button. You can hit that right now. That is also helpful in the Facebook analytics. And click the share button to share my video on your profile page because you never know who in your friends list might be interested in joining us for a little fun stamping. I am going to be using this brand new bundle. This is called Brushed Blooms. And I was really, really intrigued by these dies. And I think if you guys saw this, you probably were too. Like, huh, wonder what we're going to do with those because they're pretty cool. It's got some beautiful images in here, some sentiments. But I love these brush stroke stamps. And also those dies made me go, huh, I think I need to have that. So 
here's the dies. You get a set of 10. They're called Beautiful Brush Stroke dies. And we are going to be using this big one. Yay. We are also, let's see, where's the leaf? We're going to be using the leaf die. And then the rest of these go, whoops, and there's a two-part leaf die, so you can you can um, die cut the leaf, and then there's an overlay for it too. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna use both of those. The rest of these go with the flowers, and these are all like roses that stack together. You can see, you can see here how they stamped them and die cut them. On this page, they stamped and then they added the more detailed or intricate dies on top of the stamped flowers. So they're pretty cool, right? Okay. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need anything else here. There we go. And I think I forgot, yep, I forgot to put the leaf on a stamp. So I'm gonna do that right now, or on a block, I mean. And I've got my sentiment here. The other die that, or the stamp that we would use is the For My Forever Friend, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. I'm going to actually put it on a block so that I don't stick it to something and lose it because you guys know I've done that, right? I actually had, you know how sometimes when you peel these dies off of the sticky little pieces of tape, sometimes there's still some sticky left on them? Well, funny story, I lost one of my little dies because it stuck to my butt. And that's not a lie. I'm not kidding at all. <laughs> exactly what happened so what I was doing is I lost something under my desk so I crawled under my desk I set my stuff on my chair while I was looking for the thing under my desk and then when I got up and I sat down on my chair I forgot that I had set that die on there I looked everywhere I was all over my office trying to find this little die because of course I was using it and I needed it right now and you know how that always happens when you need it right now and I was really getting angry I know that's shocking but I do get a little I get a little touchy sometimes when things like that happen. And anyways, I kind of, I, I rubbed my arms because sometimes things will stick to your arms when you lay them on your table. And um, I just started going back to, okay, what was I doing before I lost the die? I crawled back under my desk and that's when I remembered that I had set the die on the table. I stood up and I rubbed my butt and there it was. Not kidding. So, all in a good day with Kelly. I am going to bring in my cardstock layers here. I am using the Thick Whisper White cardstock. I'm excited to tell you guys that Stampin' Up, you know, Stampin' Up's Whisper White Thick and regular cardstock is no longer available. We had to find a new paper company to make white paper for us. Um, if you missed that whole announcement, the paper company that was making our Whisper White went out of business and they did it before they even told anybody. Stampin' Up! just contacted them and they were out of business. So they were not able to get the recipe for our Whisper White. And if you know anything about paper chemistry, it's a whole big deal. So we had to find a new paper company. We are now have basic white in stock in the thick, the regular weight, envelopes, um, note cards and envelope packs, the memories and more, and the three by three envelopes. So we have white cardstock again, and I was really shocked at how fast they made that happen. So that was good news. Okay, then I have a whisper white piece. This, by the way, is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. Vicki says, only you, Kelly. Keeping it real, babe. That's what I do. <laughs> Then I have two pieces of Whisper White. One of these is smaller. This one is three and three quarters by five. This one is four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of black that's also four by five and a quarter. And then we're gonna deal with some scraps. Granny Apple Green. And then I have um, all kinds of scraps here and we'll get into those because this is how we're gonna make a rainbow, right? First thing we're gonna do here, oh, I forgot my Granny Apple Green ink. I'm going to grab some granny apple green ink here and I'm going to stamp my leaf just like that. Then I'm going to bring in, whoops, maybe, I'm going to bring in my die and put this right on here and I've got some of my low-tech temporary tape and I'm going to put that on there. 
we're also going to die cut this intricate overlay. And I'll set that right there. Let's bring our baby boss in. Here comes the baby boss. I can put this away, so hang on before I stick something in it. And we are going to need this plate and this plate and this plate. Just like, just like you do on the big boss. So I'm going to run this through my machine to die cut these. Whoops. Get in there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Debbie Spicer. I'm happy to see you here tonight. Here is the overlay leaf, I like to call it. And here comes the die cut one. <laughs> They're both die cut. The stamped one. And then I just take this and hang it back on my light so I can use it again. Pops right out of there. Isn't that nice and pretty? I like that. Let me put my die away. Where did my, there they go. I don't want to lose them. And then this one is still in. The paper's in my die. So I just kind of like to do this. I just kind of flop them like that. It falls right out. I don't have to do any picking or waste any time. And I don't know, but it gets a little frustration out when you get to slam that die down if you're feeling like you need to release a little tension. <laughs> I did not have a real tension-filled day today, so that was good. Um, but I was super duper busy. And guess what I did? My special treat today for myself was to take a break and go to the UPS store with my old modem and send it back to AT&T U-verse. That was my that was my big ta-da today that I just took a little break and went and did that. And then I was supposed to go to Kohl's to return something for Amazon and I completely forgot because is Jamie on here tonight? I talked to Jamie. So I was talking to her when I left the UPS store and I never I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. So, do you guys ever do that? Like I got halfway home and I went, "Oh, I never went to the or not the, yeah, I never went to Kohl's to return my Amazon thing. Okay, now, I've got Magenta Madness. Oh my gosh, I always want to call it by the old name. We used to have another magenta. And this funky dye, which I think is really, really cool. I'm going to put this on my magenta. And when you're using a big dye like this that is very, like, rectangular and large, if you put it in at an angle... And that means that one corner is going to go through first versus having this whole piece go through your machine at once. It just seems to cut better. And I don't know if that's the, it, that was the case in our big shots. But it seems to go through the machine easier. I think it's easier on your machines. And um, I just highly recommend doing it that way if you can. Oh, and I did not get a nap today. So, Sue says she took a break today and it was a nap. And good for you, Sue, because I love a good nap. Not going to lie. All right, now, you'll find all of these dimensions for this these pieces on my blog, so don't worry about that. But this is the bigger of the two white pieces. I just put them together to make sure I was doing the right thing here. I am going to take the um, this rectangle, and this rectangle from outside to outside is, well, let's do inside to inside measurement. Three and a quarter by a little over four and a half. This is the stitched rectangle, where those go? From the rectangle stitched framelits. Yeah, that's a you know pretty straightforward name, right? And now I'm gonna bring this into my machine. I'm gonna wanna tape this down because I'm making a frame with this piece. So I want it to stay straight. It's I'm not just cutting out the inside. I'm not actually even using the inside of this die. I'm just using the outside. So I'm going to bring in my temporary tape to hold that in place so it doesn't move around on me. I don't want to redo this, right? Let's make sure I get it straight. There we go. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Let me try it again. It's hard when I can't be right over top of stuff. You don't want to see my head stuck in the camera, right? <laughs> I'm sure you guys wouldn't care. I think I need to do a little dye job pretty soon, so I'm sure it's not pretty up there. <laughs> yeah. You got your ink. A little bit of gray. Yeah, you can always use a sponge dab or an ink pad to hold you over until you can get your hair done. Right? And I actually do my own hair. I 
I just buy some cheap junk from the store. I know my um, hairstylists out there, you're going to hate me for that. But I do, I do go get my hair cut once in a while. <laughs> Little trim never hurt, right? Okay, here we go. We are going to, and again, I'm running this through at an angle because it's going to cut easier that way. And I just think it's easier on the machines. I could be totally wrong, but I'm going with it. That's my opinion. That's just my opinion. Okay. Let's get our big boss. We got our baby boss and our big boss working hard tonight. Oops. I'll get these back out of the way. And, oh, look what I did to my little thing here. Darn it. I hate it when that happens. Hang on. We're having some placement issues. Okay, let's look at this. Like, see? A little aggression. So this is what these look like and they have the little they have the little like um, detailed lines in them and each one is just a little bit different so they're very very cool so you've got all these pieces but when you take all these out you're left with this too so I'm interested to see what I'm gonna do with the um, negative that's left over I'm not doing anything with it tonight but we're going to use one of these. And then, this was a swap card for my event this weekend. Nope, not my event this weekend. It was a swap card for something else, but it went out of here this week. This is Magenta Madness. This is Poppy Parade. We've got a little Gorgeous Grape, some Bermuda Bay, some Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, and Pumpkin Pie. Is that not so pretty? So, all of these were die cut to make 22 swaps. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something because I think they're real cool looking. What we're going to use right now is one of each of those colors. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come up with a rainbow palette and die cut this big die in each one of those. So, there's one, two, three, four, five of these little funny strips on it. I don't know what you'd call them. They're like almost like paint swooshes. Um, you would you would be able to make five cards once you get these all die cut, right? Okay, here comes this piece. And I'm gonna, again, hang up my tape. I just put it right on my lights that are above. Well, that one didn't work out, so I did it. Kind of cut it. Oh, now I got two pieces. That'll be perfect. Hang that up there. And I'm going to be using... Now you want to be real careful when you pull this off of here because you've got a very detailed little frame here. Oh, thank you. Carmen just added the item code for the white cardstock. So as long as you're doing that, I'll tell you a little something. When you go to the online store, you can just type in the word white and that will bring up all of this new white stuff. Okay, again, I made 22 of these swap cards, and so I have all of these rectangles that I cut out of the center of my frame, and I'll be doing something with those too. So I'm gonna hang on to those. We don't wanna get rid of them, right? And here we go. Oh, one last thing. Now, um, I already did this, but I took this stamp and I stamped it in Versamark. And then I poured some white embossing powder on it onto basic black cardstock. And we are going to punch this out. And I think we used the two inch circle punch. Let me grab that because I think I was Johnny on the spot today. I was putting stuff away and I'm like, hey, I want to make this for my Facebook Live tonight. Now I'm going to put this in my punch so that my words are way at the top. I did that on purpose. Now what am I gonna do with this one? Cause I had stamped and embossed a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna put this back into my stamp case so I can use it on another card if I need it. That way I won't lose it. Okay, we're gonna take our leaves. Here comes our leaves. Put a little damp in my finger a little bit. That sounds kind of gross, right? And, oh, you know what? The one that I made earlier, I didn't stamp the leaves. So let's see if this looks good. We'll see. I'm just going to take this and get the little stiff end out of my glue. Oh, shoot. I hate it when that happens. And you know what? I ran out of baby wipes earlier today. 
So I don't even have any by my desk and now my fingers are going to be all sticky. Let me put some of that on that stem. <laughs> might work out for, might be a good thing today. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, hang on. Oh, I know what I can do. I just rinsed out my chamois and they're wet so I can clean my fingers off on that. Good idea? Mm, I think so. Okay. Oops, did you see that? Did you see where my leaf went? It just stuck to the back of that and I would have never found it and then I would have had a hot flash. You know how this goes, people. Okay, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue just near the where the three leaves meet up on the stem. And I'm gonna put this right in here. Pretty, right? It's just kind of simple, but pretty. Now I'm going to bring in some of my rhinestone basic jewels and my take your pick tool and we're going to do this and oops come on you little bugger I don't want you there sometimes these things have a mind of their own don't they and one more how about right over there I always do odd numbers with my embellishments so there we go we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. Oh, my lips are really dry. Hang on. i got to put on a little Carmex. You guys know I'm completely addicted to Carmex, right? I've got some on my desk. I've got some in my pocket. I've got it everywhere. Okay, we're going to set this aside for a moment. Now we're going to bring in our card base. And find a bone folder. And uh, uh, here comes our little frame. I'm gonna set that over here. Now I'm gonna bring these in. Our pretty little rainbow. And I have this rainbow. Now I would dry fit these on the front of here first so you get a feel for where they need to be. And because I've already made this card, I kind of know. So I'm just gonna put this one like that. And then I'm going to go with my last one down here. I'm going to add some glue. Just put this right down here like this. And I'm kind of just trying to make sure they're straight like this, okay? That's really kind of all you need to worry about. Then I'm going to go with the poppy and add that maybe just a little bit less than a quarter inch. Oh, I'm going to turn this around because I want the ends to be different and those ends were really similar. Okay, like this end is that end, so I want them to, to look very random. Hang on, I got this one crooked. There we go. Then we're going to put in the pumpkin pie. And I'm going to turn this one around again so we're nice and random. Now I'm going to come in from the bottom with the Bermuda Bay, just like that. And then I need Granny Apple. Here's Granny Apple. I don't know what happened to mine that I had over here. Maybe I didn't have it in my pile. Got some extra ones. Here comes this. And before I leave that too long, I want to bring this in and see. Ah, oh, look it. It's like spaced out that you guys know I'm a professional, right? <laughs> I love to say that. <laughs> no, things don't, you've seen things not work out for me, right? <laughs> so yeah, Peggy says she loves all the bright colors. Thank you, Peggy. What are you guys drinking tonight? Yay. All right, next up, we are going to take our little frame, okay? And I am just going to add some liquid glue. Now, I could put this on dimensionals, but the reason why I'm not is because this is kind of a lot to get straight on this card. And if I have it on dimensionals, I've got very little wiggle room. And then it kind of sticks and you can't get it up. And then you kind of are being rough with it. And then you tear it. And just trust me. This is going to be a lot easier. Now, if you want to put this on dimensionals, you're certainly welcome to have that challenge. But I don't feel like being challenged today. 
It was a challenge to go to the UPS store, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and then because I never go any place, like, I mean, I go places, but because I don't go out that often, like my husband goes to the grocery store and he goes to the gas station and all that, and I don't really do that. I walked right into that UPS store without my mask on today, and then I went, oh, I don't have my mask on. So I had to stop in the doorway and dig it out of my purse because I'm just not used to that. Okay, next up. Are you guys ready for this? Where's my take your pick tool? Oh, look, that back came right off of there. Here we go. We're going to put this right up here. Oh, my good Lord. Isn't that black pop just really like boom? I love it. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to make a bow. And this is the Playful Pets Combo Ribbon a ribbon and twine combo pack from the Playful Pets. You get the red, red and white striped ribbon and, um, and this, this black and white Baker's twine. And I love it because you don't get a ton of both of them, you know, like, uh, I don't know, sometimes it takes a long time to use up a roll of something, but when you get them in the combo packs, there's a little bit less. And I think sometimes that's good, but I do love me, whoops. I do love me some um, black and white Baker's Twine, for sure. Okay. The color stripes make me think of paint swipes. Yeah, that's what I said, Mary Lynn. I'm totally with you. Oh, and by the way, Mary Lynn, did you, I don't know if you were on the other night when I showed your, um, this notebook, but I'm putting all the gifts in it that people give me so that I can keep track of that. I wish, if somebody's watching, somebody gave me this bracelet and I have um, a matching necklace. And these are the back, the end of the shotgun shells. If that was you, please let me know because I love this. I've got earrings, necklace, bracelet. And I love wearing these. And I wish I could give you credit every time I wore them. But I can't remember because you guys know that I can't remember anything. Okay. Lucky I can remember how to get home today. No, I'm not that bad. <laughs> okay. There we go. How pretty is that, right? So then I thought, what am I going to do with the inside of this card? Well, I could just leave it plain, you know, because it's white. I don't really need to put a layer in there. So this is what I decided to do with it. I am going to take my Memento Black ink and this greeting that's in this Brushed Blooms stamp set. By the way, if you came on late, I'm using the Brushed Blooms bundle. And it is um, a new bundle in the... JJ mini catalog and that's what we're calling the January through June mini catalog is the JJ mini catalog brushed blooms so this says let's paint the town as long as I'm home by 9 p.m. <laughs> that's kind of what I feel like a lot not because I need to go to bed early but I just don't I don't go out much I don't I stay home and stamp that's what I do and I love the font on this it's very dainty but yet it's very trendy then I thought I'd bring in some um, Daffodil Delight and one of these paint swooshes. And I thought the smaller one would look really nice. I'm going to grab a block here and put that on here. And we are just going to take this paint swoosh and put it right under our sentiment. Thank you. Sue says she loves the colors. Cindy says, very pretty. Hi, Kathy Schmidt. Welcome. Then, I don't want to put white on white, right? Because that's, I don't know, kind of dumb <laughs> on the inside of a card. So I'm going to bring in a black layer. This white layer is three and three quarters by five. And my black layer is four by five and a quarter. And I just thought that was going to make this really pop on the inside too. So here we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? Now, what I need to do here is I need to think, what am I going to do with all of these? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Not going to play 52 card pickup, that's for sure. But I thought um, what I, I, I didn't make all these swap cards. My um, helper did, Brooke did. She does a really good job for me. But I asked her to put the um, die in the top part of this layer. And then I thought, ooh, maybe what I could do, let's pretend this is a card front, is I could put this on here. I could do some things in here, and I could stamp a sentiment in this area that's left down here so that 
And so I will have like a ton of cards like this. So maybe I can use all of these pieces because I know I have 23 now. Use all of these pieces for another swap card. That's just a little bit different, right? So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were pretty cool. And there's our card. And I think you guys are pretty happy with it too, right? Hi, Julie Hillsman. Julie is my newest team member. So happy to see your name come in. One of my newest team members. Which reminds me, guys, we're going to talk about that a little bit before I show you my mail. Don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. Use this host code if your order is under $150. Again, if you're planning on placing an order around $100, you should be ordering our demonstrator or discount shopper kit. It is the best deal in the book. And I'm trying to find my celebration brochure here, and I don't know what I did with it. But um, during celebration, you get five packs of designer series paper. They are the new patterns coming out in our new catalog that comes out in May, our big annual catalog, the Big Beast. So when you when you order the kit, it's only $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product. Thank you, Jody. You get to choose $199, or I'm sorry, $125 worth of product. You can get five packs of our six by six designer series paper stacks in our brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and in colors. That's worth $65 plus dollars. Plus you're gonna get a paper pumpkin, either a kit or a coupon. I tried to find out the answer to that question today, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't follow through. Um, plus you get to customize your kit and you're going to get a 20% discount on everything that you order after that. And you get to be part of my team and being part of my team is being part of something bigger. It's super fun. I just got a bunch of thank you cards from people saying thank you. I just give away a bunch of product to um, my team for various things that they have done. And, um, it's amazing. Jody's here. She says, it's amazing. She's one of my team members. I've got a lot of my team members on here tonight. And it's just really fun to be part of something bigger. And now a lot of you think, well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a demonstrator. I don't want to do what you're doing. I just stamp. I like I stamp and I make pretty cards at home. Most of the people on my team, that's what they do too. But they get a discount on their products. And they get to be part of something bigger, my team. We have a team meeting coming up on Tuesday. Those are super fun. We do them by Zoom, so no matter where you live in the United States, and I have Kareem Mariki in Hawaii, which is very cool. No matter where you live, you get to join in on the fun via Zoom or Facebook Lives. Also, I have training if you do want to make a business out of this. I have um, live training every Wednesday via Zoom, so that's super important because if you're going to make a business out of this, you need to have a team leader that can help you develop that and save you a lot of time, frustration, because I am tried and true. I've been doing this for, I think, almost 17 years, and I am one of the top-ranking demonstrators in the world. Um, and I don't say that to be like, ooh, look at me, I'm top-ranking demonstrator, but I've worked my tail off to get where I am, and I can help you to do something with this, too, if that's what you choose. Or... I can help you get a discount on your stamping stuff. Either way, I never, ever push anybody to do more than they want to do with this. The majority of my team are discount shoppers, and I love them, and they love being a part of our team. So, just wanted to let you know that. Now, on my blog, which is right here, in the right-hand column is a $99 kit button. It just says $99 kit. If you click on that, you're going to find all the questions and answers about joining Stampin' Up!, and also a video that shows you how to fill out the um, order form to order your kit. You cannot put celebration items in your $125 with the product. Those can only be earned on a regular order. But once you order your kit, you get to be part of all this and then you can put in additional orders and get a discount. When Stampin' Up! has a sale, we get the discount on top of the sale price. As a discount shopper or demonstrator, we get to take part in all that Stampin' Up! offers to the customers, and that's very unusual. A lot of companies don't give you that 
on top of everything. It's called double or triple dipping, right? But Stampin' Up! loves it when we double dip. So, and I love double dipping. All right, Hilda says she's been, she's been around for 18 years too. So yeah, it's just a lot of fun to be part of a community that loves to do the same thing you do. And I think we're all passionate about paper crafts, right? Exactly. Okay, our um, mini catalog, we're calling this, this is the January through June mini catalog. I'm calling it the JJ Mini. Everything in here I think is still available. We do have a lot of things at risk of going on back order. Um, sup or demand was much higher than anticipated with a lot of products during December when we have the discount shopper or demonstrator pre-order. It's another huge benefit is you get to order early from all of these items so you don't have to worry about back orders when they go live to the public. So that's another plus, right? Um, we have this going on. We also have celebration for every $50 you spend. You get to choose something free out of here. There are just a couple items in here, you guys that require a hundred dollar purchase and I just want to show those to you. This is the Berry Blessing stamp set and the designer series paper. It's 12 by 12 paper. You get 12 sheets. This is a hundred dollar purchase. You get this free. It also coordinates with the sweet strawberry bundle. So that's cool. You have this and then you can buy this out of the mini catalog and have a whole bunch of fun berries. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you know about is the Touch of Ink. The Touch of Ink is also a $100 purchase. You get that free because this is a very large stamp set. It has 17 photopolymer stamps in it. So that's a big stamp set. It's pretty substantial. Everything else in here is a $50 order. We've got designer series paper. We've got stamp sets galore. Um, six by six ombre, very pretty. The Darling Donkeys, everybody should have that. <laughs> and some more 12 by 12 paper. Last thing in this mini catalog is our um, Punch Party stamp set. When you place an order or have a party that totals $300, and this has to be done all at once, Jackie Unger, I just saw your name come up and it stopped me in my tracks. Jackie was a customer of mine from years ago. She was in my stamp club and then she got busy. Her kids got to the age where they required a lot of running and all kinds of different activities. And so I haven't seen her in a long time. Jackie, I'm so happy to see you on here. And you just said that you want to get back into stamping. I want you to get back into stamping. So welcome. $300 order or a $300 party. You can get this punch party stamp set for free. And it is very, very cool. It matches a lot of our punches. There's some great sentiments in here. Now, if you do not have the hard copy of these by now, please let me know. I spent the majority of the day putting these in the mail for people. Some people got this one but didn't get this one. Some people got this one but didn't get this one. The mail right now is atrocious. Like, we don't get things in the mail like we should. So please be very patient. It's nobody's fault. COVID is just playing hell on everybody's lives including our mail service. So if you would like copies of these, let me know. When you email me, send me your address. And also let me know, do you need the mini? Do you need the celebration? Do you need both? Do you need our big catalog? Because if you don't have this, I can send you all three. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at, not the www, but at astampabove.com. So pop me an email. I am happy to send these off to you. Sherry says the Darling Donkeys are really sweet and she used it for some Valentine cards and I think that's a great idea because they are. These donkeys are so stinking cute. Is my donkey card laying over there in that corner right there, Jody? Because I think I had it piled so I could... I'm going to make that for um, swap cards. I'm going to this event in Oshkosh this weekend where I'm, I, I'm, present, I'm doing a business presentation. Look at my donkeys. Aren't they cute? I made this the other night. All the instructions and dimensions are on my blog with a video tutorial. But I think I'm going to use this for my celebration. It uses the celebration. Oh, no. This is this is the True Love Black and White Designer Series paper. And then this little guy is celebration. So I'm going to give that back to you so I don't lose it here. All right. Who's ready to see my amazing mail? Oh, Char says she just got her book. That's fantastic. Let me bring in my mail. 
I'm gonna do, you guys, just a little bit of mail each night until we get through all of it because I wanna share it with you. This stuff is absolutely incredibly beautiful that people send me and I, I need to share it. This was one, this was a card from Donna Balmer. Donna is one of my longtime customers and I kind of bent it a little bit, Donna. Look at, this is a slimline card and is this not so beautiful? Christmas card. Thank you so much, Donna. That is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have, oh my goodness, Marilyn Dawkins. Check this baby out. Those poinsettias, very popular this holiday season. And this is that ornate set of dies. That's how she cut this out on the um, gold foil paper. This is beautiful. She's got a little bit of glisten or um, some glitter on there. Like she maybe sprayed it with some, what is that um, paint called? Shimmer paint. What? Yeah, shimmer paint. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you, Marilyn. This is gorgeous. And look at her envelope. Mmm. Hang I gotta get a drink. Tanya said her granddaughter's valentine is made with the donkeys. Yay! Okay. Sandra's asking, she got here late. What stamp set is it that you just used to make that card? Sandra, it's called the Brushed Blooms. It is a stamp set and a set of dies. So it's in the um, JJ Mini catalog. Glad you asked. Here comes some more mail. This is from Deborah Bach. Look at her pretty envelope. So Deborah says, thank you for being a great inspiration. I hope this new year fills your home with a peace and a peace of God and joy overflowing. She goes, this card should give you an inkling how long ago I started stamping mulberry paper, fruit of the season, even the cardstock. So yeah, this is a really old stamp set. Beautiful card, Debbie. Thank you so much. Debbie is one of my team members and she volunteers to do the door prize drawings for our team meeting every month. And so Debbie will put all the names into a random drawing program and she draws the names out and then sends me a list of people and I send door prizes out for attending our live um, online meeting. So here we go. Look at this. This is really cool. Little handle on it. Woohoo! This is beautiful. Hang on. This is from my good friend Rose Bell. Rose is also a team member, and look at this beautiful card she made. There's so much shining about this. It's so pretty. She says, congrats for making your million. I love watching you on the Sunday videos. God bless. Love, Rose. Look what she sent me. I opened this up. This is like um, rose gold, and you guys, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little crown with a suspended pink diamond in it, and this is so Pretty Rose. I was just so touched by that. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. And then this case that she made, we don't sell these wood cases anymore, but you may have some of them. These are our bigger wood cases. And the cool thing about this is to keep your tools in here. So you can keep this in here. You can keep, where's my mini glue dots? Here's my mini glue dots. They'll fit in here. You can keep your snips in here. You can keep these in here. You could keep your um, rhinestones. All of these little things fit in here so you can keep them in one nice little location so they're handy for you. And isn't that just pretty? Oh, I just goofed up the, hang on, I goofed up the cover here. And what she did, hang on Rose, I don't wanna jack this up. <laughs> um, what she did is she put a handle. This is a drawer pull handle on here. I actually did a kit a card kit with this years ago where we drilled this on here and made this pretty like Rose did. And then we put cards in here and it's just a cute little way to give a gift. So isn't that neat? Okay, I'm gonna put this over here, hang tight. I don't wanna lose that necklace because it is beauty miss. And I do, I love, love it. Okay, next up we have, oh, this is from Carla Boncher. So Carla is sisters with another demonstrator, um, Corinne Braxton, 
And I met all these ladies. Well, I met Carla at my used stamp sale that I used to have. And her sister's a demonstrator out in Montana. They're originally from this area. And so I got to meet all, all four sisters. There's four sisters. And they go on the Stampin' Up! incentive trips. And I got to meet them on the ship. So Carla brought this, dropped this card off for me. She likes to pick up mini catalogs from me. So that was cool. And um, Steve liked it too, Carla. So thank you. Very, very pretty. And again, you guys, look at this. This is that ornate. Look at how different. This is very, very pretty. And this is the same die. This is the same die as this. The ornate dies are absolutely gorgeous. And they look very different. Now, oh my gosh, Wendy Morse, I know that you're on here tonight. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Look at this crazy, amazing card. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful with our star dies. I love the little swirlies. I love all the different stars that you put in here. This is beautiful. It says, Dear Kelly, many blessings for the new year. Health and happiness abound. I just finished In the Pines card kit. She got my In the Pines card kit. And I'm super pleased with every card, especially a card using the watercolor paper. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Wendy. So that reminds me, you guys. I still have several of my kits available. You'll find those on my blog. This is my blog address. In the right-hand column, you're going to see online classes. You click on there. It'll take you and show you everything I have left. But um, a lot of times, you'll learn techniques. So I'll show you how to make techniques. And each one of the cards in this In the Pines card kit, which has nine cards, has its own video tutorial. These are all... Um, kept private. I don't ever show you the cards that are in the kits because I think the element of surprise has something too. You know, there's something to that too that makes it fun. But yeah, this is beautiful, Wendy. Thank you so much. I was just, I was like, whoa, that's cool. Let's see what else I have. Oh, my friend Lynn. Oh, she is just a doll. She gave me this calendar. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys or not, but I'm going to show it to you again. She's my new friend. She's not new. I've known her for quite a while. She's from Australia, and I swear, Australia is, Australia is on my bucket list, and if I ever get there, I am going to go meet Lynn in person. She sent me this cute koala card. She teases me about not knowing my Australian animal animals because I was calling this koala a koala bear. That's what we call them here in the U.S. I even watched a news segment where they called them koala bears. Somebody yelled at me and said, stop calling them bears. They're marsupials. That has stuck with me. I promise I'll be better. <laughs> but look at how cute this calendar is. We've got the koala, not a bear. We've got this crazy ostrich bird. We've got this guy. I have no idea. A dingo. Um, the dingo stole my baby. We were saying that last weekend. <laughs> Just because it's funny. We played this game at Christmas where we had to talk with an accent. So we were all British or Australian. <laughs> Here's a crazy bird. Here's a croc. That looks like a porcupine, but I'm thinking it's not. Um, that looks like another little kangaroo guy. And we've got this cute little bird. And last but not least, another little kind of kangaroo thing. There we go. Here's all the animals. But anyways, she sent me a really cute letter. It was really sweet. She says, wishing you and your family and friends a safe, happy, healthy, festive season. And may all the world have a better year for 2021. Isn't that the truth? Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Lynn. Here's my airmail. I got to keep this because I, I want to send her something. Okay, next up. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Again, you guys, this is that ornate dies cutting this layer right here this is from jan fortin jan thank you so much this card is absolutely beautiful and do you see how she used the designer paper this is one side of the designer paper this is the other side so that's the front of our card and i think that's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous then we have cynthia jacobson look at how pretty this is i love this bundle absolutely gorgeous she's got the inside all decorated up and she says, oh my gosh, thank you for drawing my name for the Autumn Goodness Bundle. Fall is my favorite time of year, and I'm so excited to have won this set. Also, thank you for all the trimmings and embellishments that came with the Technique Club this month. Wow. 
I hope you and your family have a wonderful holiday, especially with little Val's first Christmas. There's nothing like having a little one around for the Christmas season. Thanks for all you do for us. I so look forward to your videos. You always have such creative ideas and stories to share. All the best. Cynthia, thank you so much. And she's got her envelope decorated here nice. Very, very pretty. Next one. Oh, this is gorgeous too. This is from Nancy Delavo. I hope I said that right, Nancy. Look at this cutie patootie. This tucks in right over here. Oh, oh nope, it doesn't. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so here we go. Isn't that pretty? Woo! She says, thank you for keeping me crafty this season. You are welcome, Nancy. I love this card. It's absolutely beautiful. Yay! I do. Hope says you have some awesome stampers in your group. And I do. You guys are so talented. These are all coming from you guys. Oh, I have to show you this. Did I show you this? My niece made this for me. She is very artistically talented. This is the Northern Lights. And she drew or painted some little trees down there. It says for Auntie Kelly from Emma. Isn't that gorgeous? Very, very pretty. Let's see, who is this from? This is Emma's Christmas card that she gave me. That's really pretty too. Let's see, can we do a couple more? I'm just going to do a couple more, then we're going to call it a night. This is from Cheryl Thomas. Beautiful, beautiful card. I love snowflakes, right? Isn't that pretty? Love it. Then we have Kathleen Bryson. She sent me this one. It's got some trees in it for confetti. Love this. Very cool. Hang on. Let me grab something else here. Ooh, ooh. Here's some prizes. I'm going to try to get everything out of here. Um, this is from Denise Dini. And she says, oops, I have two. Kelly, you can use this for your giveaway. Beautiful Snow Wonder stamp set and the Snow Times die. And guess what? This is what was used on the snowman card. Where did it go? Hang oh, right here, right here. This is the stamp set, you guys. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So, I guess we'll be giving this away tomorrow. Make sure you come back and watch. I've got a bundle up for grabs. Okay, Denise, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. And I think we're gonna call it a night. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm always available to answer your questions. I have been a little behind on my emails. I was getting caught up all day today. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> so if you emailed me and you haven't heard from me, I'm getting there. Um, just have a little bit more patience. And uh, yeah, so pretty, right? I love this. Brushed, whoops, brushed blooms bundle is what I made this card with. Yay! Okay. You guys have a wonderful evening. I will be back tomorrow. I don't know when. I have some swaps that I have to do for my event this weekend. Oh, that reminds me. I am going to be gone starting Friday afternoon. So maybe I'll do a Facebook Live Friday morning. And then I probably won't be live on Saturday because I'm going to be in Oshkosh. But I'll be live again on Sunday, okay? So just know that. Just want you to know. Hi, Judy Ziegert from Greenville. <laughs> Make sure you guys leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, click on that share button. That really helps my business. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gilmore. Happy to see you here. Rose is here. Yay, Rose. Thank you so much for the gift. I love it. Hi, Francie. Happy to see you. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your.